Meanwhile, two major storms are set to sweep across the U.S. The first is already hitting the West Coast and expected to bring snow to the east. High surf advisories are in effect in the San Francisco Bay Area, where waves could hit up to 23 feet. ABC News meteorologist Samara Theodore is tracking it all for us. Hey, Samara. Hey, Dan. Good morning. That's correct. Take a look. Exactly what you were talking about. The high surf alerts are now in place north of San Francisco down to San Diego. You can see the winter component of the storm system, bringing winter storm warnings into parts of the higher elevations further inland in California. Now, let's time out this storm. So this is the first cross-country storm. It's already got going this morning. Look what happens at Thursday at 4 a.m. Where is it? We see a lot of the snow in parts of the Rockies, even uh, seeing some rain in high elevation snow in Arizona. Then we push forward in time. By Thursday, it quickly sweeps through Texas. I'm not too concerned with the flooding in Texas uh, because of the fact that it's moving so fast. 7 a.m., though, we see the rain moving through the southeast. By Sunday at 7 a.m., we've got snow, and this is uh, there's a potential for us to see snow in cities like New York, upstate New York, Pennsylvania, coming snow to parts of the mid-Atlantic as we head in from Saturday into Sunday. Keep in mind, though, we are still a few days away, so it's not a definitive forecast, but it's something that should be on everyone's radar because it will be on ours. The second storm we're tracking, that's going to move through on the back end of this. So while this one is exiting out of the northeast, our next storm moves in through the northwest on Saturday by Monday, bringing kind of the same story rain to the central portions of the country even some snow into areas like wichita and the plains by uh wednesday at 7 a.m of next week we are looking at that storm making its way into the northeast but it's definitely going to be more rain weighted so we have a big potential for flooding in the northeast next wednesday following the winter storm moving through in the northeast on sunday so one two punch going there uh, again what i want to stress diane is that we still have some time right for this forecast to become more definitive in nature but we are in a big deficit in the northeast for snowfall so this will be something to watch all right abc news meteorologist samara theodore thank you hi everyone george stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the abc news youtube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.